Hi guys here, today we're replacing the starter on a 96 through a 2000 Nissan Pathfinder. Now so far, what I see that you need is a 14 millimeter socket. Now this is on a 2000 model, but all the way from a 96 to a 2000 is the same thing. So the first thing you're gonna want to do guys, make sure you got the right size socket. You wanna unhook the battery as well. Take the battery loose so it won't arc or hit nothing and catch nothing on fire. Now, by looking up in here, I don't see nothing really stopping it. Um, it should drop out of there. You know, now I got the 14 millimeter ratchet, I mean socket or whatever up here, pulling it out. Now, I already got it loose, so I'm going to just wiggle this off here. Well, then just wiggle right on. <laughs> we still working with it, as you guys can see. I'll give you some tips. I couldn't find a video on replacing the starter from a 96 to a 2000 Nissan Pathfinder, you know. So, everything else, but I couldn't find it on this one. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to see how I just get this socket off here. There we go. And I'm gonna try to hold the camera. Let's see, gonna back this back by hand here. You guys can see what's going on here. And I got one of the starter bolts out, as you can see right here. That's one of them. Okay, so I got tired of it just clicking, click, 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 click. Every time you go to start and then you got to, sometimes you want to, got to tap on it. Now I hope the other bolt right there ain't hard to get to. Right there's one more bolt holding this thing in there. And uh, like I said, I hope it ain't hard to get to. So uh, yeah, I just want to share a little, shed a little light on this thing. It shouldn't be that hard to get to that second bolt, but you know how stuff feels, I don't know. Uh, let's try it, let's try to see can we get that. Yeah, yeah, it's easy to get to. I already got the ratchet up there, so it's not hard to get to, but it's hard to break it with one hand. So I'll give you guys a general idea. Now, if I, if I need to come back and update you, I will. Now, as you can see, one boat out. The other boat was right there over top, as you can see there, right over here. Um, so once I get that out, pretty much is a done deal. I don't even got this truck jacked up or nothing. It's just on the tires. Just thought I'd snatch it on right quick. Now, I hope it's easy to, to wiggle out of there. You know, that's what I'm hoping for now. Um, I hope it's just easy to wiggle out of there. Uh, they make stuff like this so complicated with these type of trucks. That's why I really don't like foreign trucks. I like American-made stuff better. But um, anyway, uh, if I need to update you, uh, I come back and update you guys with a part two. And uh, I'm going to hit you guys on the next video, man. Um, I'm just a replacement. Once again, this is on a 96 through a 2000 Nissan Pathfinder. All right. I couldn't find a video on it. So I said, well, when I'm doing my starter, I'm going to do a video on it so you guys can see. And once again, you need a 14 millimeter socket to break those bolts. All right. Should be easy to come out of there. Let's hope and pray that it's easy to get out of there. We can slip across that axle or whatever, to, you know. However, I need to get it out. I will update you. If it's a pain in the butt, I still will update you. All right, guys. Till next time, I'm out of here, man. This I'ma come out. Make sure you guys know what body style I'm working on here, right here. It's a 1996 through a 2000. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Peace.